In the previous lecture, we applied the special theory of relativity to length and distance. So we said that length contraction takes place when an object moves with a very high velocity. So now let's apply that concept to the following example. So a certain spaceship has a rectangular window that is 3 meters wide and 2 meters high when the spaceship is stationary on Earth. Now, if the ship departs Earth and travels with a velocity that is 80% that of the speed of light in a vacuum, so V is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by C, what dimensions will the person on the spaceship measure when that spaceship is traveling with that velocity V? So let's begin by looking at diagrams A and B. So in diagram A, we have one wall of our spaceship and the window as shown. And our spaceship is stationary on Earth. So the height is 2 meters and the length is 3 meters. On the other hand, when the spaceship begins to move with the velocity given by V, length contraction takes place. So the length, the width of our spaceship essentially decreases while the height of the spaceship will remain the same. Why is that? Well, according to the special theory of relativity, only the side of the window that points in the same direction as the velocity of our object will actually contract because this height is perpendicular with respect to our velocity the height will not change so the height of the window is still two meters but the length is given by l which we're trying to find so l represents the length of the window as seen by the observer inside that spaceship when the spaceship is moving with the velocity of v equals 0.8 multiplied by c where c is the speed of light in a vacuum so we basically want to apply the equation that we spoke about in the previous lecture that deals with length contraction. So L, the quantity or the length of our window when our spaceship is moving with a velocity, V is equal to L0, our original length of our window, basically the length when the spaceship is stationary, multiplied by the square root of 1 minus V squared squared divided by c squared. Now L naught, which is known as the proper length, is equal to 3 meters and V is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by c. So 0 0.8 squared multiplied by c squared divided by c squared. So notice that the c squared will cancel and we're left with 1 minus 0 0.8 squared and this entire thing is raised to the power of 1 divided by 2. So we're taking the square root. So 1 minus 0 0.8 squared is 1 minus 0 0.64 and 1 minus 0 0.64 is 0 0.36. Now the square root of 0 0.36 is 0 0.6. So 3 meters multiplied by 0 0.6 gives us 1.8. So 1.8 meters is the width of our window when the spaceship is moving with a velocity of 0 0.8 multiplied by by C. So although the height of our window remains the same, it's 2 meters, the length contracts to 1.8 meters from 3 meters.